Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we are going to talk about another topic related to HTML attributes, where we are going to learn about the new attribute that we can use in order to provide some extra information to a user while pressing or selecting the button. Okay, we all know that in HTML form we we can use HTML buttons and maybe there are other things also where we can apply this attribute but today we are going to just learn about specifically for the button part like how we can use the button attribute so we are going to proceed in the same way like firstly I'll show you the basic thing related to the code uh, like we will write the code from scratch itself then later on once we are good with the code then we will verify the things in output and we will def uh, find out like why do we need this title attribute what are the advantages of using this title attribute what what would be the difference if we use or we did not use the attribute title clear so this is how we are going to proceed with the session but before we start the session I would like to recommend you to please go and check out the previously released sessions first because all these sessions of the playlist are in proper sequence and sync so if you follow them sequentially then it would be really very easy for you to understand the ongoing topic but for now we are just focusing on the basic thing but as I requested you please follow it in a sequential because these all sessions are connected with each other okay fine now right now you can see there is a simple code I have already written here so there is nothing but a basic HTML code and also here I have kept one question for all of you as an assignment so please try to answer this question in the comment section it will it would not only help you to learn the things but also help other to take the reference let's say if someone uh, don't know about the answer of this question so he can he or she can directly refer it from the comment section and it will also help you to prepare for your interviews and your exams clear so yeah I think now we are good to start with the session so to start the session firstly like we all know that we are going to talk about the HTML form so it's better to declare the HTML form so let me add one heading first so here I will write he h2 for heading here I will write a uh, uh, title title attribute in HTML form or maybe we can write a uh, title attribute in HTML button because we are specifically using it for the button purpose so let's save this and if I show you the output of this basic code it is something like this let me write in a proper manner yeah so you can see title attribute and HTML button now what we will do after this we will create the form actual form that we are going to use so you can simply add maybe something we are missing because this is not in a proper manner let me okay no fine yeah so we have just added one form here and remove the extra line okay so in this form we will write uh, firstly the action because we are going to submit it to a specific page so the page I am going to use is uh, 10 TSPGM 10 okay now we will add one input field here so let's add the input field and in input field I'll write type as text name as uh, we can use name username placeholder username and then we will write here button just a normal button okay here we will give the name it as button without title attribute it will give you the idea uh, and it will also give you like the difference between using the button and not without attribute okay so here I will apply one type text type would be the submit fine so we are good with this code so let's save this and refresh the browser so right now you can see we have only one input field and a button okay so what we usually do we write the text and submit it with the data okay maybe something we miss missing 
oh sorry we we put the type as it should be the submit okay yeah now if i write here a b c and click on button without title attribute it will take me to this page and the data is also submitted so this is the normal thing that we you always do with the button and the forms but the question is let's say if there is any user who don't actually know about much about the technical things like uh, they are not so comfortable with the website so in that case if that user wants to uh, click any button and for example there are multiple buttons let me add one more button to show you the thing in a proper manner button and type would be the submit okay let me add type submit and here I will write what uh, I will write submit button for now okay we'll change it later so now let's say we have two options so user is not sure like which button uh, he is supposed he or she is supposed to click although like we are going to write the text here like it's a submit button this is without a title but let's say if there are two uh, type of button but user is not getting some information from it or if or like information is there but it is not enough to decide like whether he should click it or not so just to give us some extra information to the user for a particular button or maybe for the input field as well what we can do we can use a title attribute okay how it will help us let's see so now I'll simply change this to button without uh, sorry with this time we will write with title attribute okay fine and also we will apply here title so I'll simply write here title and now we can provide the extra information click this button to submit your data for uh, to submit your data and to navigate navigate TS PGM 10 let's save this now and let's save it and refresh it the browser so now you can see the button is coming with only the button text which is button with uh, spelling is wrong here let me correct it first title okay so now you can see it is just showing us button with title but the moment when I take my mouse cursor like right now you can see here if I take my mouse cursor, nothing is happening here also but on the moment when I take my mouse cursor here it will show me this thing click this button to submit your data and to navigate TSPGM 10 so now you can see how we are providing the extra information to user for deciding whether he or she is supposed to write or click on this button okay so that's why we are utilizing this title attribute and the good thing is that you can also use this title with uh, input as well let me show you so if I write here title this field please enter your complete user name although like we are using placeholder so no need to pass this thing because placeholder is already showing it but still if you want to give some extra information so in that case I think something is missing yeah so now you can see please enter your complete username so it is also giving information for this so whenever you are using any field or any button it's better to provide the required information like this so it will give you the idea why we are using the uh, why we are supposed to click on this okay so I hope uh, this session is clear to all of you and now I request you to please share the answer and please share your knowledge in the comment section those who provide the correct answer will be spotlighted in the upcoming session so please do share your knowledge so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching Tech Sherman.